Well, climate change scientists are alarmed by the rapid deterioration of a vast ice shelf in Antarctica. The European Space Agency says its satellite images show that the Larsen B shelf has shrunk by 85% since 1995. The agency says warmer ocean currents caused half of the shelf to melt in the past decade. Well, here is a picture of the ice shelf in 2002. It was noticeably smaller by the time this picture was taken four years later in 2006. And the image from this year shows further deterioration of the Larsen B shelf. Well, for more on this, we're joined by Matthew England, who is the co-director of the Climate Change Research Centre. Matthew, thanks for coming in. Your initial reaction when you saw these photos? Yeah, it's an incredible image. I mean, this is an 11,000 square kilometre area of, of ice shelf. It's 500 metres thick, so it's a very thick slab of ice. And glaciologists don't expect to see these ice shelves break up so rapidly as, as Larsen B has done effectively in the last decade. In your view, is this irrefutable evidence that... The, that uh, climate change, the, the warming uh, of the earth, if you like, is actually taking a, a noticeable effect. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's alongside a lot of other evidence. It's not the only piece we have. Clearly, there are multiple, in fact, many hundreds of lines of evidence and observations from glaciers, mountain glaciers, the oceans, the atmosphere, the land surface. There's a progressive warming decade by decade of the planet, and that area of the Antarctic Peninsula is actually warming particularly rapidly. It's about, uh, it's been three degrees C warming, over the last 50 years, and that's enough to start to dislodge ice shelves. And the big concern we have is that behind these ice shelves are the ice sheets, and the ice sheets flow in much more rapidly once the ice shelves are gone. Can, can you just distinguish between the shelf and the sheet? Uh, for instance, in the Arctic we have sheets, don't we? Now, in the Arctic, the main ice sheet we have there is the Greenland ice sheet. The Arctic sea ice has been rapidly melting, but the sea ice itself floats, much like ice in a glass of water, once it melts, the water's not raised in sea level. But with the ice shelves, uh, once they melt, they allow the ice sheets behind them to flow much more rapidly, which does raise sea level. And in the Antarctic Peninsula region, it's very close by to the West Antarctic ice sheet, which could ro uh, raise sea levels globally by four or five metres. And that's the big concern. That region of the Antarctic is warming uh, m most rapidly of the whole Antarctic region. And like I said, three degrees Celsius is, is very rapid. It's unprecedented and it's enough to start to disintegrate our shelves very rapidly. Matthew, is this process starting to uh, accelerate in any way? Is it happening more quickly than we actually have anticipated? Well, certainly the last 40 years of warming is much more rapid than the preceding uh, century before that. So yes, uh, most of the indicators are accelerating and, and those ice shelves that we uh, thought would, would only carve icebergs, for example, in summertime, the Wilkins Ice Shelf actually started to crack during a, a, a recent winter. And this is unprecedented to see the ice shelves actually um, cracking and disintegrating in winter as well as summer. We used to see them just carving in summer and then winter they re refreeze. Um, to see these events occurring in wintertime is, is, is um, indicative of, of rapid uh, warming of the region. Uh, are there any indications that this has happened to this scale before. I'm not talking about hundreds, but perhaps by thousands of years ago. Uh, obviously, there's drilling into the into the into the ice in Antarctic, where scientists are trying to work out what happened thousands, tens of thousands of years ago. Yeah, it's, it's unprecedented for the last uh, 100,000 years or and beyond. You can go back to uh, warmer eras on our planet, and actually, there have been times when the entire uh, Antarctic ice sheet was gone in, in very, very warm climates. This is many tens of millions of years ago, and sea levels back then were 50 metres higher than today. So we know there's a lot of water stored on those ice sheets. Um, we don't think that the entire Antarctic ice sheet could go, but the West Antarctic ice sheet, which could contribute four metres of sea level, uh, most scientists think that's going to go. It's going to go at some point, um, whether it's the time scale when it does go is the big question we're trying to resolve, but most glaciologists think the West Antarctic ice sheet is destined to disintegrate at some point in time over the next few centuries. Four metres extra in terms of sea levels is quite significant. I mean, that would change, I mean, the face of Australia, obviously. Absolutely. Uh, it's not just, uh, it, it's actually major cities, even Sydney, would be challenged by, by that level of sea level rise. Uh, it would completely change coastlines around the world and Australia wouldn't, would be affected as well. I mean, we've only had about 20 centimetres of sea level rise uh, to date and, and, and coastal residents are noticing the effect of that 
you could imagine 10 times that amount to two metres or beyond uh, will will change the face of our coastlines significantly. Are there any other implications, for instance, for marine life? What would the effect be? Uh, for marine life, there's a massive freshening when these ice shelves break up. Uh, they, they do melt and add a lot of fresh water into the system and there are a lot of ecosystems that, that actually thrive beneath, beneath the ice shelf. So there would be local effects but there wouldn't tend to be global scale effects on the ecosystems from um, the collapse of the Larsen B ice shelf. It'll be a local and significant effect for marine life there. Will it also oh, affect, sorry to interrupt you, will it also affect things like weather patterns? I mean, I, I understand that, um, you know, changes in terms of uh, warming of the planet has had a huge impact already on, uh, on weather patterns and things like that. Would, would extra water in the system actually make that worse? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you freshen the oceans, they do change ocean circulation and that can feed back and change the atmospheric circulation and weather patterns. But the reverse also occurs and actually the collapse down there of that ice shelf uh, it is thought to be associated partly with the change of our weather systems around the Antarctic region. Um, basically the, the, the wind fields are shifting southward and the warmer air is shifting southward and the ocean currents are shifting southward and all of that is bringing warmth to that region. Matthew England, thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks.